The project Forbidden Music uh, is a concept that was developed uh, together with Taras and Ivan based on the ideas which are found in Ukrainian life. Uh, the concept to bring out music that maybe it's never been heard before is a brilliant idea and I think it's given Ukrainian music life a wonderful opportunity. In Forbidden Music, we do the concept a little bit more tight as we investigate the negative sides of politics and music. We have looked at political systems in Germany and in former Soviet Union, Ukraine, where composers were subjected to threat, sometimes violence, and sometimes even death because of their art. There are several examples, of course, known from Germany and the Nazi regime, especially music from Jewish composers. But there are also other composers that were doomed and deemed not worthy to be played because of what their opinions were. The same is for the Soviet Union, how the Stalinistic artistic machinery disliked some artists and some artists never got a chance. And here in Ukraine are many examples of really good composers. For instance, Badwinsky, who were framed for just writing music and used as a political tool to show an example. In this project, Forbidden Music, we aim to give back some energy, both in Ukraine but also internationally, to Ukrainian music and German music that has never been heard. And some of this music has actually never been played before. So it's a wonderful opportunity in these concerts that will be ahead to experience music which tell a story which is unique and fantastic and needs to be heard. I urge everyone to investigate the possibility to experience something which is not so common. Welcome.